that was in packing this in the vehicle to go be scanned that one of our technicians actually noticed a tooth sticking out on surface. And he called Leo and he said, oh, I, I think this is a hominid tooth. And he was right. And when we scanned it, we realized that there was more than just a tooth. There was so many other bones of this individual in here. He lived at 1.977 million years to 1.98 million years ago. Um, and he was between 9 and 12 years old at time of death. Now, this transition or this time period is where we're seeing a shift from the early Australopithecus africanus, so Mrs. Place or your Tahong child specimens, into early Homo, which is our, di our direct genus. Often with our science, you deal with fragments, isolated fragments, and you never get a complete picture. What makes the site you need, Malapu in particular, is that we are able to find all these pieces. These skeletons are near complete, and every time there's a discovery like this, we get to put in a missing piece of the puzzle.